How you all doing? Hope you're keeping safe out there. Today, it's time for another review in my Summer of Smash in my Hulkamania season. And today, I have a figure which arrived, oh, about two days ago. It is the Marvel Legends standalone release She-Hulk figure. And boy, oh boy, is this one hell of a figure. It's, uh, yeah, it's one I've been looking forward to for quite a while and it doesn't disappoint. Okay, before I go into the figure proper, quick bit of backstory. She-Hulk appeared, first of all, in her first issue of her first own ongoing series. And I'm pretty sure that was actually a genuine sentence that made sense, but... Yeah, in a, she first appeared in the Savage She-Hulk number one. And the basic story is, her real name is Jennifer Walters, she's a lawyer, and she also happens to be the cousin of Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. Now, during this time, like, the main populace didn't know that Bruce Banner was really the Hulk, so he was only really on the run from the army really, so he found his cousin, tried to stay with her for a bit, she didn't know he was the Hulk, he explained it, didn't quite believe him, but uh, while all this was going on she was also working to prosecute and well, send to prison a small criminal uh, empire, or organised crime empire shall we say, and while Bruce was there they tried to kill her. She was shot and wounded, lost a lot of blood, and the only way to save her, Bruce gave her a blood transfusion, and then he left. And as a side effect of this, she also became a Hulk, though not quite the same as Bruce Banner. She didn't become a giant rage monster, she was pretty much herself, with maybe a little bit more edge and aggression, but she wasn't a savage beast, despite what the title of the comic would suggest. And it was actually a really good series. I have a few of these. They're quite expensive to get nowadays, but they were really good. Uh, if you can get them in trade, I actually recommend finding them. It's probably my second favourite She-Hulk run. Uh, what's my favourite, you might ask? Well, John Burns She-Hulk. This is the one I actually collect. I've got most of the issues, and I really, really love it. Um, it's really tongue-in-cheek, a little bit of cheesecake, a lot of fourth wall breaking, and... It, did, it makes fun of She-Hulk in a very playful way. Well, not, not makes fun of her. Has f has fun with it in a very playful way, including the famous scene where they uh, they had a they promised the readers next issue She-Hulk will um, skip naked, and they did it, kind of. And um, just to, yeah, I, I make no apologies. I knocked this up because how could I resist? But it looks cool. Well, it looks silly. It it looks nice. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that was a kind of thing. Obviously, it was a joke in the book. They didn't really do it as such, but it was a cool series. And it's one that really got me into She-Hulk as a likable, lovable, comedic, but also badass character. And this figure is most of those things. Now, th this figure isn't really a. It's hard to, to really narrow down what era in She-Hulk it's trying to represent. Now, ostensibly, it's a repaint of the. Grey She-Hulk figure that came out in the Fantastic Four slash uh, Super School Builder figure wave, and that was a figure representing the time after Civil War Two, where Jennifer Walters was dealing with uh, PTSD and the Hulk transformations were a lot more savage. She really feared changing into the She-Hulk, and well, she was just called the Hulk at the time because Bruce Banner was dead for a little while, like most Marvel characters are, and that was the figure to represent it. This one is that figure given a classic paint colour, or paint job. She's green, she's got the white top. They gave her black trousers, which I don't quite get why they did that, because like giving her blue would have worked better, I think. Not, nothing wrong with this, you know, with the black trousers. Just, I would have thought blue was a, was a more interesting colour. Though this figure is still really beautiful, and it's articulated really well. It's got, um, well, fantastic articulation, to be fair. It's got a great abdomen joint, which is great for turning and forward and backwards motion. Really great with that. Um, diaphragm joint, that's a diaphragm joint. Universal shoulders. Elbow joints, which are only single elbows, but they go above 90 degrees a little bit, so they're quite good. The joints are a little weirdly sculpted, so occasionally like a little bit of the joint will show through and where the uh, inside of the elbow would be, but I think that's to allow the joint to go over 90 degrees, so I really can't complain. Hinge and swivel uh, wrists, universal joints at the, at the uh, hips, thigh joints, uh, double jointed knees, ankle tilts with rockers. It's, it's a really well articulated figure. I mean, the articulation is, is really good. 
And um, but, well, I was gonna say it also comes with some uh, some accessories as well, which is kind of nice. You don't normally get. Oh well, up until recently, you didn't really seem to see many female figures released without with um, accessories. But you know, this one comes with a few. Um, she comes with two pairs of hands. She has a pair of fists. They're really nicely sculpted. They're appropriately sized. They look good. They've got, I say, the uh, wrist joints in them. They're, they're good, meaty, smashing fists. You really can't go wrong with that. She also comes with a pair of openish hands. They're not splayed open as such. They're more semi-open, semi-gripping hands. You can get her to hold some like large, large things with the most larger handled accessories, or just those, like raging hands, or even just uh, gesticulating hands. But that's not all. Probably the most interesting thing she comes with is an alternate head. And what this head is, is the one that came with the original Grey Hulk version of this, uh, Grey She Hulk version of this figure, painted up in green, because the one I've shown previously is actually exclusive to this figure, which shows her as being much more calm and reserved. Well, this is angry, gritted teeth, the eyes are glowing yellow, the hair is blowing in the wind. This is a very action orientated She Hulk head sculpt. I think it's really good on the figure. I don't normally like, like windswept hair because it limits up well it locks the figure into looking in a certain direction as such and you have to sort of match up where windswept things are going but i think this looks really good i i do like it um okay so of all i like the figure let me compare it to a few other marvel legends in my collection up first well it, it's really got to be her compared to the uh, hulk here she's next to the 80th anniversary hulk from the uh, wolverine and hulk two pack and they look really great together. I mean, She-Hulk is... You'll see later on, She-Hulk is a big figure. So don't let the size of the Hulk dwarf or, like, mislead you into thinking how uh, tall she... Like, don't let the Hulk mislead you into thinking she's shorter than she is. That's a correct... Uh, yeah, that's what I should have said. They look really good together. Their greens are slightly different. Like, the Hulk is given, like, a yellow uh, airbrush and it looks... I don't know, it's yellower, more vibrant in the green. Or She-Hulk has got a very... Almost... I'm not very good with colour theory, with colours, but she looks almost slightly bluer green. It still works really well, but it's just interesting to see how the two of them are just slightly different shades of green. Here she is next to the Juggernaut. I just had to stick these two together because there's a, there was for a while before they retconned it out as not actually being here, but there was a bit of a long-standing joke of her and the Juggernaut having a bit of a... Uh, with a hook up at one point and this it's always referred to jokingly and uh, she hated it it was quite funny it wasn't it was, a, it was a completely different general to some a different dimension comics are weird here she is next to zenmu looks really good next to him as i said like in the zenmu review if you watch that he appeared in the uh, burn series tried to turn shilk into his wife or into a bride should i say by turning into a green hairy woman <laughs> Yeah, comic books definitely are weird. Here she's next to Man Thing, and she's nearly the same height. And they like the eyes are nearly level when he's in his sort of natural hunch position. I think looks really good together. Here she's next to a more basic or more standard size Marvel Legends male figure, the um, retro slash vintage Spider Man. Looks good. She's correctly taller than him because I think she's meant to. Well, if anything, she looks maybe not quite tall enough next to him. But yeah, you know, it, it works. Yeah, she's next to a larger, sort of the larger end of the basic um, male book sizes. The 80th anniversary Thor looks good. They both look sufficiently beefy, and uh, give it a few years, and they'll probably hook up in Avengers in the Aaron run, which I just dropped recently because that book has got awful. Ugh. It's a good thing I don't review comic books. Yeah, she's next to the 80th anniversary Captain America. Looks great next to him. No complaints. Wonderful together. Here she is next to another green skin gamma mutant, the leader. Actually, their greens look very similar to each other, so I wonder if, like, the way Hasbro are doing their greens for the, the Hulk figures for the green skin changed between the 80th anniversary of Hulk's release and the leader's release, and they've gone continuing on with that green. Ooh, be interesting. So, yeah, that was the figure compared to some other figures. But here's something a bit special. I've got a few She Hulks in my uh, collection. And I thought it would be interesting to compare her to them. Up first, we have the other one. Well, the one that's been on my shelf for She-Hulk for quite a long time. This was the She-Hulk from the Blob series, or the Blob Builder figure series. Based primarily on her like 2000s look with the purple and white 
one piece as her costume, which is a, a great look. Um, I really like this figure. It's very basic. The articulation is a bit naff because it's just a weird period where they had the hip joints where the joint went up into the body, so you couldn't really get a decent pose out of it, and it was just very strange. Um, but this figure, the, the new figure, looks a lot better. Though I really wish they would release her or use this body mold again and release her with this costume. That would probably be my perfect She Hulk. With the possible exception of like maybe if they do a Fantastic Four version in the Fantastic Four costume she wore, that would probably be like my second. Like if I could get She Hulk in this costume, that'd be my number one like desire, my number one one to have. And at number two, yeah, it'd be definitely with the Fantastic Four costume. But yeah, they look okay together. She will definitely be replacing She Hulk on my uh, on my shelf though. Um, but as I said, that's not the only other She Hulk I've got. This is the uh, oh lord. This is the uh, She-Hulk from the uh, Fin Fang Foom Hulk wave. Uh, yeah, this figure is pretty terrible. It's based more so on her first appearance in the Shab in the Shabby She-Hulk. Oh, good God, the Savage She-Hulk, who sells seashells by the seashore. Hey. Um, it was basically just like a repaint of the Sheena mod uh, Sheena figure they did in a two-pack, being given a fabric like tattered. Top that doesn't look tattered, it looks like it's got like properly done edges, so it's just weird. She obviously towers above it because this is a very old figure, though. Weirdly, it's the only She Hulk figure I know, or the only Marvel Legend I've known in the last fair few years. I've painted toenails, isn't that weird? But yeah, this figure, the new one, far superior. The actually, I'm actually kind of curious, like, I might try swapping some heads over, let's see how that works. Um, try the, the Blob series She Hulk's head on this one, and Actually, it looks quite good, to be fair. Yeah, that's the face is a little bloated, maybe a little too. I don't know. No, actually, it's, it's very cheerful looking. No, I, I do like this. This works. It doesn't sit on there really securely. It just sort of rests on top. So a little bit of blue tack to keep it in place. But no, that that could work. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, and that um, Fin Fang Foom way of Hulk, the She Hulk head. Oh, that doesn't work. It looks tiny, and that facial expression is ridiculous. It looks like they took a blow-up doll and just shrunk it down. Just like that is, that's terrible. But what about the other way around? What if I put like the new figures' heads on the old models, on the old figures? Yeah, the calm She-Hulk head looks really cool, actually, on that other Blob series She-Hulk. It rests there quite well. It's maybe a little too, too long in the neck, but no, that that's workable. If I wanted both, if I wanted both of them on my shelves, I think. Yeah, that's an interesting head replacement, and uh, yeah, no, <laughs> that body is far too small for these heads, but god, that's terrifying. She looks like a tiny, it looks, it looks more like she toddler, or toddler hulk. That'd have been, yeah, that would have been the better, that would been the funnier joke. Uh, it, that looks awful. Oh god. But anyway, what do I think this figure at the end? Well, at the end of the day, what do I think about this figure? It's marvellous. I've been looking forward to it for ages. It's really great. If you can get them... Get them. I managed to pick this one up over at uh, Comics and Cocktails, but I've got most of my legends from at the moment. Recommend them. They're a great store. Just they're great folks. So yeah, if you can track a figure down yourself, I recommend you do it. it it's amazing. It's not the design I maybe would have wanted, really, but it's still a great She-Hulk. It's going up on my shelves. It's fantastic. Well, anyway, folks, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope it's informed your purchasing decisions and as always if you've got the time just if you'd like to subscribe i'd really appreciate it hit that like button maybe leave a comment good or bad i, I welcome them all I, I welcome the critiques and i welcome the praise how else can i make this channel better apart from maybe just shutting it down <laughs> no, i'm joking um yeah anyway folks that's it hope you enjoyed it as always i'm sure stay safe stay sane and keep on rolling and i'll see you all next time Ta-da!